Local district is struggling to fill positions. We're talking about the Waverly School District and the superintendent says they're working very hard before the next school year starts to try and fix this. Channel 8's Veronica Bretto joins us live from Waverly. Veronica, what are school officials telling you? Uh, Rod, the Waverly superintendent tells me school principals are now spending more time trying to fill open positions, constantly calling candidates and those who are graduating from college. If you look at certain positions, uh, the sciences, math, um, those have been challenges for us to find in our district. We might have three or four people apply. Superintendent Corey Worrell tells me tonight that in the best case scenario, they would get around 30 applications for an opening. He says in the past that number was around 70. Now the district is looking at different solutions, not only to hire, but also to retain teachers. Once we have people in our district and they are, let's say, teaching, for instance, you know, how do we keep them? How do we keep them satisfied? Uh, what's the support that we need to give them so that they can be successful in the classroom? Worrell says it's more challenging to fill non-teaching positions. We're constantly looking for uh, paras, bus drivers. You know, the last few years we've not been able to fulfill all of those positions in our district. More than 900 positions were vacant or unfilled in Nebraska schools. This past school year, according to the Nebraska Department of Education, Worrell worries that if this continues to happen, it will hurt schools even more. You know, if, if we can't fill certain positions, you know, there will be pro programs and there maybe will be class offerings that are not available in the future. And so we definitely don't want to see that happen in our district. Uh, we want to actually expand offerings for students. And Worrell says they will continue to build relationships with universities to try to attract a young talent to the education system. Reporting live in Waverly, Veronica Barreto, Channel 8 News.